it's overt flow. Did you guys think your volume was too low? Well, it wasn't actually. In all reality, I just kind of was taking the time to sync up the audio. I believe that uh, I have it all synced up properly. And as you guys know, I don't have fancy equipment, so I have to kind of manually sync it up, which kind of sucks. But we're here with the second episode of I've Always Wanted My Own Samurai. That's what it is. Who are these guys? He's the one who will catch it. Catch what? Uh, they vowed their everlasting friendship. What? There's a dog on my butt. What are they doing? It's too dangerous, obviously, you guys. The friendship. The ultimate friendship. You guys are crazy. Ow! The dog hit me. I'm not its friend anymore, that's for sure. Who's this guy? Whoa. Don't sneak up on me. You nearly gave me a heart attack. Toys on edge. Ruthless bandits. Just give me your money. What, are you scared of them? <laughs> Look, a bandit. Whoa. Yeah, that's right, scaredy pants. Oh, yeah, run away. Anyway, let's do this, guys. If you remember last time, I uh, had filleted a tuna. I, what did I do? I signed up for Castle Amana. I did that. Sign up for the army. There's basically like three different factions. Well, four. You can either be a lone samurai. You can work for the town and the village. You can work for... Well, there's actually a lot more. But the main factions, I guess, are being... Working for the town and village. Working for the army, which is where I'm at right now. And the back door is open, so I'll go in. He's sleeping. He's got an awesome sword. I will not tell him. And I'm not going to kill you because we're friends. Otherwise, I would kill you and take that awesome sword. That awesome spear thing. Anyway, this is the army place, if you guys remember. I wonder if I can actually go in there. Let me go up in here real quick. Kiri. It looks like there's another maggot here. Listen, man. Just because you're a ninja and you think that you're awesome, just get out of my face. Oh, cool. And there's guns on the wall. So this is a big castle, as you can tell. I wonder if that cool guy's in here. No. Um, it's a big castle basically, and this is the army headquarters. And the three factions are the townspeople, the well, more the village people, then <laughs> the village people, and then the army, and then the rebel people. Now, you guys can go ahead and tell me what you want me to do. Right now, I'm serving the army, but you know, if you guys want me to do something else, like if you want me to, I don't know, I I'm part of the army, so if you guys would like me to be. Um, helping out the village people, then you could just do that. Samurai Punisher. You, I could just do that. If you guys want me to... I can actually go to the Rebels base. And uh, I can actually kill the... I can either work for them or I can actually kill the Rebel leader. And uh, go about it that way and become the Rebel leader if I kill him. Because I'll kind of just take his place. And that, I mean, that's a pretty cool thing. I think there's like, there's got to be like 15 different endings. I'm pretty sure. I think it's in between 12 and like 16, 12 and 20. I don't know. It's a lot. Whoa, I just, I'm over here. I'm hiding in the bush of the captain of the tree. Yes, now I'm here. So there's a lot of different things that you can do. Who's this lady? What's up, lady? Oh, yeah, she has a, her own storyline as well. She's like crazy. She's a crazy, I'll say this, how reassuring. Yeah, you better remember my name. I'm going in here now, into your secret room. What's in here? Oh, it's a closet, okay. I'm going in here, into the secret room. And who needs open doors when you can kick them? Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap. Ah, uh, the door fell on me, okay, I'm leaving. Ooh, a big dresser, sweet. Now, if you guys don't remember, this is called Way of the Samurai is the name of the game. And it does not have an extremely wide fan base. It's actually a very small fan base. And so if you guys would like to support it, go out to your local game store and buy your local GameStop, whatever, whatever. It's a game store near you. And uh, pick up a copy of Way of the Samurai. They generally just release them in Japan. Or they release them in Japan. And then it seems like every year it's a struggle to get them to release it in the U.S. Which really sucks because it's a great game it's a lot of fun i mean i have so much fun playing this game that you know i don't know and to me youtube's all about fun and with black ops black ops was a lot of fun to me however modern warfare 3 is not as fun as black ops is 
And so, or as fun as Black Ops was. And so because of that, I play some, you know, other games once in a while too. I'm not a huge gamer by any means, but this game is definitely uh, one of my, it's one of my favorite series, that's for sure. So make sure that you guys check it out. Way of the Samurai, this is the third one. My personal favorite is the second one. That's Omiki Town. How do I get to the road? Did I just come from there? Wait, where do I gotta go? I forget. Let me check. Status. Job status. <clears throat> Where's he at? He's at the road. That's where I thought. Alright. Let's go... I think that the road's this way. I'm hoping. I don't know. Anyway, I got a couple stories for you guys. Kuchigarada. Mm, this is not where I want to go. Got a couple stories for you guys. And as you know, these commentaries always run long. Because... They are live comms, and I really like live comms just because mm, when I do regular commentaries, I feel as if, you know, I kind of stick to a topic or something like that, and when I do these type of commentaries, it's kind of just me talking to you about whatever I feel like talking about, which is really cool, and this is where the big battle was, like if you'll see this lady's running around like doing stuff, I think she's picking up stuff, you can actually go here and I believe you can loot the bodies, see? And uh, you can actually take, like, um, if they have weapons, there's weapons here if you need a weapon, if your sword breaks or something. Um, old Radish, who's this big guy? Oh my gosh, a suspicious person? You dare to fight me? He doesn't dare. The only bad thing about the sword that I currently have is that it is does not have a lot of moves. They have flashy moves, but not a lot of moves. And good thing this guy helping me out here oh maybe he wants to fight me as well either way oh what just happened i got a couple stories for you guys um i went to jiu-jitsu today oh first story a girl named uh I believe, oh my gosh from what i remember this guy's good oh never mind i guess not now <laughs> so oh he is good okay I, what, what can i do Wait, 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 don't do that stuff to me, man. Don't be doing that. Nice, I like that. This girl named uh, Shayla Hershey, I believe is her name. She actually, this guy is just like a protector. I don't know why I'm killing him, but he was very mean to me. Oh, I just blunted attacked him, so he does not actually die. He just slumps over. Sweet, I didn't want to kill him anyway. Now, this guy... This girl, I mean, by the name of Shayla Hersey, Hershey, something like that. She actually... Hey, a spear. Sweet. Nice. I like this. This is cool. This is a cool thing. Is this a good weapon? Let's look at it. She was actually in a car crash, like a bad car crash. And she happens to be a big boob model. So she has triple K boobs. Which, you know, they're, they're pretty big, I guess. And she was saved, basically, by her boobs. She did not get injured because of the fact that she has triple K boobs. Which is crazy. And she's like a little skinny thing with huge implants or whatever. But that is amazing. Like, if I was a girl, I would get boobs that big just because I would never die. That's awesome. I mean, to be saved like that. Now, uh, this is not where I want to go. That's the Rebel's Castle. I can actually go there and take it over. Tell me what kind of path you guys would like me to take. Who's this guy? Ask me. Um, I would do it if, even if it meant losing everything. Such is the way of the samurai. It's true. We do understand each other. I could take you out right here, but I won't because I like you. Now, anyway, the second story that I have is that I was driving home from jujitsu today. And on the way home, you know how when people are driving, they normally, like, if the traffic is slow, they'll kind of break up the... <clears throat> uh, 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 I need to drink water. All right, guys. Remember, I, I'm still getting... Well, I'm not. I'm kind of over the cold. But you know how the last couple of days, like, when you just get over being sick, you still have some symptoms? Like, I, I got to drink water all the time. My mouth is dry, for real. Now, back to what I was talking about. This, t t t I was driving, right? Oh, we're looking for a bad guy, right? Yeah, we're looking for him. I was, I gotta find this guy. He, t t t so I was driving home and you know how people, when they're, you know, the traffic's slow, they'll still leave spaces so that people in parking lots 
can get out of uh, you know where they're at. Well, that happened. What's all this stuff over here? What is over here? Poison mushroom. I don't want that, man. What is this? Boxes. Rice balls. Money? How much money are we talking here? Any money? Poison mushrooms? Poison mushrooms? Poison mushrooms? Anyway, so... People left a space open so that cars could get out of the parking lot. And I looked over... At... Sweet. I looked over and... This guy comes out of the parking lot, he's obviously on his phone, and he drives across three lanes of traffic, straight into a little car, and just crashes right into the side of it. He's a big pickup truck, remind you. Mind you. Mind you, yeah. And so, he crushed the side of that little car up, and to me, it was, I was glad to see that the people were okay though, they got out of the car, they looked fine, but that's crazy. How do you drive across three lanes of traffic into a car that's just stopped because the traffic was so slow? Like, his mind must have been somewhere else. I don't understand how he did that. But anyway, second story, I was still on the way home from Jiu-Jitsu. And on this little eventful ride home, I actually um, saw a homeless guy. He had a blanket, looked kind of tall, and he was walking. And you know how when people, like, are about to fight in movies, they, like, point at each other and they're like, Hey, you! Well, he kind of made... Hey, where is this guy at? He kind of did something like that. He turned around. He's walking. He turned around. Pointed directly behind him. And, like, he just had a look like, Oh, yeah. This is happening for real. And then he kept walking. And you could tell that he was, like, mumbling. What the heck? This guy's attacking me. That was weird. Anyway, he was just kind of mumbling. And then he walks a few more feet. And then he turns around and points again. And then he walks a few more feet, turns around, and just starts doing roundhouse kicks. Like, not just one roundhouse kick, like 15, for real. Like, he was just doing all these crazy kicks. And uh, nobody was there, so it was really weird. And then he started kicking, like, the electric boxes on the street. He started kicking the, you know, the button that you press across the street. He started kicking that thing. And uh, it was really crazy. Like, I don't know who he was beating up, but apparently... He beat the, you know, he really was doing work on that invisible guy that he was obviously beating up. It was pretty intense. So those are my stories. I'm going to stand on top of this rock. Yes, I'm the rock master. Whoa, I keep getting friend requests, don't I? Hmm. Maybe they'll see this. Anyway, back to what I was saying. We have to find this guy. And you can actually wear accessories and stuff. I got I to gotta do that. So... How about this? We'll finish this job. I'll go buy an accessory or something. Ooh, fish. I'll go buy an accessory. I'll show you it to you guys, and then we will end this live com for today. What is this place? I never knew. Like, does this do anything over here? I don't know. I wish that some of you guys play Way of the Samurai. If you do play Way of the Samurai, which I'm, I'm doubting that you guys do, but if you do, let me know. And also, if you go out and pick it up, remind me, or let me know that you did pick it up. And um, that would be a pretty cool thing to know that I have, you know, shared this with you guys, and you guys are helping the series out. Now, I cannot for the life of me find this guy. They said he was at the road, correct? I'm looking everywhere, am I not? If you guys saw him, then you guys better tell me where you saw him at, because I cannot find him. He's supposed to be like a bad guy, right? He's a thief. He's like a thieving, thieving person now. Oh, my Skype is on. Turn that thing off. Moral Technique is now offline. Where is he? Where could he be? Castle Minori. Ah, oh, guys, I cannot, I can't find him. Where is he? He's at the road, right? That's where I am. I'm looking one more time. I'm at the road. This is where the job location is. So where is he? What a pain in the butt. I might just go find somebody and just beat him up and take their money. That could probably work better, actually. Okay. Look, we're looking everywhere, right? I don't see him. I don't see him. Um, over here. I don't know where he would be, honestly. Honestly. Man, you guys, and what you don't know is that I actually just recorded this commentary. 
It took I recorded it for half an hour and then my HD PVR froze on me last second and uh, I didn't get to keep it, which really sucked. But I'm gonna go look down here again one more time. I'm gonna run through this one more time. If I cannot find him, then I'm leaving and I'm gonna do a different job. You know, you feel me, guys? So anyway, there's gotta be so many different endings to this. I know that there's like, you can end up helping this girl for one, and you can end up like taking over the army for another one. You can end up just being a good soldier. You can end up being the leader of the rebel forces. You can end up just being a lone samurai. You can end up being a guy who helps take care of the village. It's a lot of cool stuff that you can do. Man, I'm okay. I don't know where this. I don't know where this guy is. Where is he? Will I have better luck in the daytime? Who's to say? Let's go to Castle Minori. No, let's not. We'll go there maybe a different time. For now, I'm gonna go over here. How much money do I have? I don't believe that. Look, I can I leave. I can leave at any time. Leave a mana. Let's see. What should I do? I think I'll go here. What? Walk on your own until you complete your job. That's boring. Uh, you guys. I cannot find this guy. I can't find him. I can't find him anywhere. All right. This is serious time. It's time to be extra serious. Extraordinary. Oh, I found you. Hey. How you doing? Hiding back here. Oh, you were picking pockets, I see. All right. I'll tell you who I am. Uh... <laughs> Your brother from another mother. Ah, Start the ten beatings. I cannot forgive you for what you have done to my family. Wait, wait, don't run away. Wait, don't run away. Wait, don't run away. Oh my gosh. I promise you, if you run away... This guy is running. This guy is straight running. Hold on. Oh, I got him. You are lucky that I... Man, I could have taken you out. You're sorry now? Yeah, you better be sorry after all this stress you caused me. I had to run all the way around here. Everybody's watching me. I'm embarrassed. They thought that I couldn't find you. Now, this game is extremely customizable. You can change your clothes, change your hair, sleep, eat, food, do all this other stuff. Um, this game is a lot of fun. It is... This is Way of the Samurai 3. I gotta say my personal favorite was Way of the Samurai 2. Mmm... Really good stuff. Now, let's see how long this this little live comes. Ooh, it's morning already. 17 minutes? Okay, well, we're going to finish this up here, guys. I'm going to... You know what? I won't go through the back door today just because I already did. Maybe you guys want a different view. We're going to run. Um, you know what would be awesome? Speaking of thinking of it, it would be really cool if... You know how... Did you guys see my home in the last one? I'll show you my home later, but either way... It's pretty cool that you guys, you have your own little samurai home, but I think it'd be even cooler if like you could make your samurai home anywhere that you wanted, such as, you know, I'm working for the army here. So it'd be, I think that it'd be really cool if like maybe I could take one of these little houses, like if I could take this and this could be my home. And uh, where's the armory? I know that once I level up a little bit, I think that I unlock an armory where I can actually go in and just get different swords and weapons. Which is pretty cool. I mean, they're not the best weapons that you'll find, but they're better than not having any, of course. <clears throat> Let's see. Yep, I finished my job. Success! I am useful. Don't ever forget it. Now I'm going home. Peace out, homie. 360 no-scope wall bang. Ah, oh, right there. Now, we're going to run home here. And I'm thinking that on the way home, I might stop in town. I don't know if the people are my friends. I'm pretty, yeah, I haven't done anything bad. They should be my friends. I'll go there and see if they got any nice uh, accessories. I'm so sore, you guys. I have no strength in my arms. My chest is sore from doing a chest day. Um, my legs are killing me from jujitsu. I'm just gonna sleep super good. Ugh. It's gonna be awesome. Let's see, yep, everybody likes me. You guys should have seen it in the last, um, in the, hey. Commentary recorded right before this with that you know messed up and got frozen um, All these people were mad at me because I killed a ninja lady and apparently it was one of their own So they all when I walked down the street all these people were just kicking me like they were coming out. They're like you're a terrible kick 
kick what's over here see like wouldn't it be awesome if I could go into this house right here and this could be my house if I could just make it into my house that'd be cool if you could like renovate stuff into your house way of the samurai people if you even watch this if you even know that you have fans out here which you do then you should take my my uh, suggestions into account because this game is extraordinary now ooh, a box <clears throat> I don't want a poison mushroom. No, no, no. You know what, you guys? I might actually show you some gameplay from Way of the Samurai 2. It's a PS2 game, so I have no save files on here on my PS3. But what I do have is, uh, I could, you know, start over. Because Way of the Samurai 2, to me, was fun because the town was more cozy. And, like, uh, the town was more cozy. And it just was more fun to me and my girlfriend just texted me I don't know if you guys heard that text message is this girl outside oh you get out of my way oh he's picking on these guys look at these guys I can beat all you guys up you know that you know that you know that because I'm part of the army now oh look he's gonna attack me but what he doesn't know is I'm a judo black belt in jujitsu karate samurai foo all right, you want some? You, you didn't want none. I told you, man. You pulled your punches on me. Oh yeah. Okay, I won't. I won't actually destroy him. I'll let him live, so that he knows never to mess with somebody like me again. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Mm-hmm. And now we're coming to an end here, guys. I am going to be. I'm buying an accessory. Look. Hey, there's little kids dancing. This is the village that my home is in. It's pretty nice. Oh, yes. Unbelievable prices. Let's see. Ooh, a shoulder guard. We'll buy this one. Oh, we'll buy one. I could steal that one even though I don't have enough money. But I feel like if I stole it, they would just end up hating me. And I don't need that kind of publicity right now. All publicity is good publicity, but not at this current point in time. And this old lady right here is actually a beast of a fighter if you do her storyline. Which is crazy. And this is my house right here. What's up, house? Now, why are you in front of my house? You're going to cast a spell on me to keep me safe. 10 yen? Take it. Alright, take that 10 yen. Whatever. I don't need it. In addition to having that 10 yen, you can also have this Fuck it! Oh, wait. Hold on. You can also have... This bucket! Oh, hold on. Okay. Wait, wait. Where's my bucket at? Bucket. Bucket. Oh. Have this bucket. Ha! Get out of my face and out of my lawn. I'm going inside. Don't look at me change. Alright, let's look at my new thing. Shoulder guard. Man, I used to have so much stuff until I, uh... Had to get a new PS3, which is crazy. Ooh, let's uh, fix this thing up real quick. Oops. Wait, how do I zoom in? Oh, yeah. Okay, obviously the shoulder guard looks nice, right? Let's uh, make it a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller. Very customizable, as you can see. I believe that... Ooh, I can also take off my hair. Whoa, I can... Whoa, he looks weird like that. I like him better with the spikes on his head. There we go. Um... We'll do this. That looks to be about the right size. Now we're going to... Oh, we can put it on different body parts, of course. Coordinates. Let's move it back just a little bit. And uh, that actually looks pretty pretty good. I'm thinking. Maybe uh, a little bit more forward. Maybe more like that. Yeah, I'm thinking that that looks pretty good. And then we will go on the angle here. Let's see if we can fix this angle. Wow, this angle is ugly, man. Wait. Right analog stick is for green. Okay, we need the green. Wait, we need green. Wait. Okay. Oh my gosh, if you guys are watching this, then you just let me know. If you guys are watching this, just say, Oh my gosh, Overt, you're such a good interior decorator of shoulders. Um. What the heck? Okay, okay. It's looking good. Well, that is as good as it's going to get right now. Finish editing, and now look how beautiful my guy looks. He's got a nice shoulder pad. People can tell he's part of a serious army. Kicking open doors because now I have newfound confidence. 
Oh my goodness, yes. I like it, man. I like it a lot. I'm gonna go hang out on a rooftop. Actually, you know what? I gotta take a nap. I'm gonna go take a nap. Alright, guys. That's the end of this. I know that it was one of the quickest commentaries that you have ever seen. I'll sleep until... Be boxing. Uh, I'll sleep until noon, I guess. You know, sleeping in late the way of the Samaroos. Alright, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Wait, where'd my door go? Oh, I kicked it off. Hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I Always Wanted My Own Samurai. And uh, that's all we got for you today. Make sure you pick up this game because it's awesome. Also, if you guys enjoy this series, please leave me feedback. Tell me like what storylines you want me to take. Do you want me to be part of the army, part of the village, taking over the rebel forces? What do you want? And uh, leave some thumbs on this video. See if we can hit like... Uh, I don't know, 70 thumbs just to show some support for it. I'd really appreciate that. That'd be really cool. It's like, it's an important thing, you guys, to spread around and all that. It really encourages me and everything. And, uh, yeah, I love you guys. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And I am overt and out.